No, we really got to wait to see what Putin does before jumping on the bandwagon. And if he takes down a few of those nations, then, I mean, really, it all can work in our favor. Whoever side he's taking over nations for, because there will be less people against us. But if, uh, if he moves, like, into Western Europe and USA, if them and China and Iran and Africa and everyone else move into there without just stabilizing, making sure they don't have a place to run to in the Middle East, then we can at that point confirm that he's probably working for them and not for anyone else. So we really just got to wait and see, you know, kind of like an MMA match, just you know, you want to be in MMA, just let everyone else break each other's face and legs off, and then uh, then go join MMA. And you won't have much competition left. Pretty much, like, I'm assuming that's the way stuff is happening and has to happen, because I have to be dealt, like, bullshit and stuff I don't want in my life, even though I have, like, these fucking, this fucking magical fucking life and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, assuming it doesn't end quite there because, I mean, I'm the one who made the documentaries, like, 10 years ago on watching out for, you know, the people behind Trump, their websites also supporting Putin, and if they're behind Trump, and then RT is also supporting Trump, and at least Western narratives. Now, I mean, technically, like, I can write that off as that's, like, just a good narrative. They, they tow the narrative and they alter it, you know, how they want it to come out. And they can still come out on top either way. But if they're really, like, supporting those people, then they're not good people, most likely. Um, and I know, like, you know, when Mikhail Lezin of Russia today was assassinated in USA, like, I didn't know really what to think there, but I just kind of assumed, like, the USA did that for some reason, but Mikhail Lazen is the, is the globalist, so, um, you know, eventually I'm looking at it like Putin probably had him assassinated on Western soil to show that, like, you know, you're not going to control our media, and, and uh, this is what's going to happen to you, we can do whatever we want. But there must have been a lot of things involved in order for an assassination of such a high person to take place uh, inside USA. Just like the, the story that Epstein was assassinated, that lie of a hoax. Uh, there's, if he were assassinated, there would have happened and a lot of people involved with it. And a lot of people whose bosses were on tapes having, you know, fun time with children. Thanks to Jeffrey Epstein reporting it. So, you know, logically, you must dictate that didn't actually happen like that. And that was just like a media hoax. But, uh, yeah. I, we can only, like, you know, wait. Like, right now, he's crushing Kazaria. Like, that's... Like, who's he doing that for? Is he trying to restore Kazaria? Or is he, you know, working for the Kazarians? Or is he, like, really trying to prevent the Kazarians, the West, from, uh, so-called West, from, uh, invading, uh, areas around his land? I mean, it's a, it's, it's not a deep game. It's just they can be one step ahead and, and have some thoughts and no one know anything because the West is, like, this, this prison nation where everyone is just, like, they kill you if you're not dumb enough to believe in Santa Claus. They hunt you. They watch, They make test scores and they follow you if you score too high, apparently, and then try to kill you off. And, uh, you know, you got to keep the slaves, like, docile and stupid. So they probably have these rulers like Santa Claus and, and things like that. Before schools, there was Santa Claus. And if you believed in Santa Claus, they're like, okay, this person's dumb enough to be a slave. And then if you didn't believe in Santa Claus, they'd be like, man, this person might be a problem. He can think for himself. And so they probably use these methods to hunt people for thousands of years. So, you know, it's like alien technology they're using to pose as gods and stuff. So, 
they're not really gods. It's all manipulation and stuff from their end, at least. Like, but they definitely seem fucking scared of people coming after them who have fucking powers like they wish they did and stuff. So, apparently, like, that's the, the storyline here. And I've been fed that so much, I assume, like, that's probably what's going on in the world. It's a war of fucking... A person who really controls things versus uh, people trying to create an overlay of control and stuff. People can control things. Who knows? They say other people have powers, too, but no one's ever responded to me with anything. So, uh... I don't believe the New Age uh, and their new religion. I don't believe any of these religions. New Age nonsense. Everything is your fault. You know there's demons fucking stalking you and fucking interfering with your life every step of it. And nothing is your fault no matter what decision you make because there's an interference there. Yeah, it's, it's more like their, their other religion is about forgiving pedophiles and evil demons like themselves and at the same time worshiping their the people who are the people who you might one day wake up and be like wow jeffrey epstein is not a good person wow you're a hateful you're an anti-christian you're an anti-christ jeffrey epstein is the lord of the world and he probably still is in his mansion you know, in a safe location in somewhere in the Middle East right now. So, what do you do? Like, the story is actually real simple. What's going on here is real simple. It's just you can't. They own the media, and the humans, like demons, fucking can be puppeteered by them. And, uh, I mean, they're just like empty shells. I'm not sure how the puppeteering works. I'm sure it's just like, you know, like a game world, and that's like magic spells that we have access to they probably use technology and I don't have to use technology to do shit but it happens so um, I'm going to assume that's uh, the storyline here I mean either way we know like that the humans are fucking pretty borderline demon or above by their day to day activities and interactions with them but and how they allow this to happen and then remain silent on it when you bring it up. Especially the ones come to me, tell me I'm God, talk to me in languages they don't understand, and then stop talking to me in those languages. It's like, you aren't even a living being, are you? You're just a fucking flesh puppet being puppeteered by demons and shit, aren't you? So, fuck, dude. Anyways, we're getting into the good fucking part of the game. I, I guess it's been good. Like, I've always, like, enjoyed just fucking watching everything burn and get destroyed fucking because it needs to be fucking and like every decade it's like a new fucking height I mean no one's even fucking been through like the first kindergarten shit I went through and then like every 10 years it just hikes up even further and stuff and and that's just like any game it's like any music it's like any movie they, they, it unfolds as it happens and it it gets more exciting. Could you imagine some stupid video game where you just sit around and you bred with someone for like 40 years and went to work at McDonald's for like 40 years, 80 years? Jesus. He'd play, he'd stop playing that game after like four hours and stuff. Yeah, like, uh, I'm just going to accept the fact that, uh, my attitude is what's needed and stuff, so I'm not worried about feeling happy or joy anymore. In fact, it'll get in the way. That is, every time I get so drunk and high, like I'm happy and stuff. These uh, these beasts, like, I don't know, I play with them and stuff too. I'll go up and talk to them and stuff and shit. I'll, I'll fucking initiate conversation with them and stuff sometimes now, just for fun. And then I'll start asking them questions like, you're not even a living being, are you? What's up with your head? What, what the hell are you talking to me about? And then some of them, if they have any sort of control, they might, like, try to manipulate me with it. But no one has control over me, really, except for one demon who's been there for a long time. And uh, they're like, no one likes them. Like, apparently I'm God. I can just make fucking... I can make your entire world fall the fuck apart and shit. And I don't even think, like, I chose to do that. Like, some of these wars in the past, 
Yeah, like, I don't think I asked for them, but they happened.